know, it seems to really parody those kind of famous 70s and 80s kind of war movies. Like, why are they so easy to parody or why do you think they are being parodied now? Um, well, Kick grew up with them, I think. You know, the writer, director, star, Kick Gary, grew up with those films. Um, it's also got a Traffic Thunder kind of feel, which I guess also played on, on those old older films as well. Um, and I think they're just funny, right? just and unashamedly funny. There's a lot of retakes because everyone just laughs. Hello. Hello. First Annabelle. of all, congratulations on the series. Thank you. You know, the show is really, you know, like a social commentary on, you know, clickbait culture, celebrity. Why do you think that satire is like a great way to talk about those things? Well, I think in many ways, politically, we've, we've lost the ability to connect on things because we don't know how to disagree anymore. And I think um, humour is a, a nice way. Um, to bring people together. At least we can agree to laugh at the same thing. Um, and and humour just felt like a, a binding force of humanity uh, at a time when I think everything's becoming very fractured. Writing, acting and directing in it, what was your favourite role out of those three? Uh, the, the, when we were shooting was probably my favourite part. Uh, well, I got to wear all hats in that moment. But, yeah, that I love the on set, the creative wake up in the morning not knowing what you're going to have by the end of the day and then ending up with something you know kind of magical I love just going to bed every night when we were doing that yeah and also those kind of iconic you know Vietnam War films are very macho and have a very specific style why did you want to kind of flip that on its head well I think it was really more about putting people with a thirst for fame in the in the craziest place I could put them mm. um, and I was just heavily influenced as a kid by Thin Red Line well Thin Red Line as an adult but uh, more Platoon and Apocalypse Now and Deer Hunter. <laughs> um, and so, um, yeah, that was more of a creative influence, but narratively it was more just putting, putting those four boys in the wildest mm. place we could. Well, thanks for chatting with us. Thank Have you, a great Annabelle. night. Annabelle. I'm Faisal. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> um, can you just chat to us first about your character? Yeah, uh, I play Director Bustard. He is a uh, rebel freedom fighter in the fictitious country of Bahati Prinsloo. Um, I think it's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's such like a satirical high comedy. On set, are you worried you're going to go too far? Like, is there a lot of improvisation and, you know, doing scenes a few different ways? Look, uh, like, Kick had a pretty solid and funny script, but he was always open to um, if something was funnier, um, which I thought was really great. Uh, so... I had more commentary on other characters' storylines compared to mine because I was pretty set in what I was going to do and um, my journey, yeah. And any memorable moments from set? So many, so many. I mean, uh, yeah, just working with really close friends is always a highlight. Um, it's the funnest job I've ever done. I've never laughed so hard. And doing work while the crew is laughing at the same time is also a good sign. Hello, how are you going? Good, yeah. Good, thanks. Now, this is a, a, I've been been a truly bonkers series. Yeah. yeah. What was it like to shoot? Well, with everything. You know, the, 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 you've got to remember those lines. You know, the whole tone about it that you've got to stay in. So basically, you know, you're working your ass off. When it finishes, you can have a laugh about what went on. Also, most of us are playing certain out there characters, so there's a lot of fun to be played and getting that right. And, you know, there's such a huge cast and crew. Indeed, you know, you know, is there a lot of improvisation or is it kind of... No, no. Look, there's every now and again you'll slip... You might be able to slip something in. But it was actually very well written and therefore very good to play. Basically, you trusted the material. The material was very funny. So you were able to play. Can you tell us about your character? Well, I'm the Prime Minister of Australia, Warren Whistle, and uh, I really love sport. And um, if I, you know, I'm, 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 I'm mad about Ian Thorpe and um, I haven't got a clue about anything else. I read it I went, this is a fun character to play. Let me have a go. Let me get at it. He's the leader. Is he like the, he's the one that puts him together? You're just the first person they spoke to. That's right. That's all. That's, there is credentials. Oh, sorry, no. Shit, I'm so sorry. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Can you, what do you want audiences to take away from this show? I, 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 sorry to cut you off. Yes. Um, I want people to listen to each other more uh, and let each other speak more. Like, I would love, I would love it if people could laugh at themselves a little bit more, take themselves just a little bit less seriously, take what they do seriously and their, you know, their their pursuits, their beliefs, all of that. But like, you don't have to take yourself so seriously. That's what I would like. We want to, we want to amuse people. I mean, we want people to really laugh the way that we laughed while we were making it. We had tears streaming down our faces. Hopefully we can get the same reaction going with the audience. And 
and then they realized, oh, they're talking about something real world. They actually have something to say. I yeah. think that kind of will creep up on people, hopefully. Ideally, yeah. And can you chat to us about your characters? Yeah, sure. Uh, so I play a character called Rowdy Gaines. Um, he is a father. Uh, he is a fighter. Um, it's somebody that seems to get in his own way more often than not. Uh, but with a heart of gold. Um, but very quick to anger. With a name like Rowdy. Go there's figure. Pe- there's particular joy in watching Rowdy get frustrated. <laughs> well, it and is, spiral. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, um, and sort of very right. loosely based right off me when I'm in a bad mood. Yeah. Yeah. I play a character named Phil Choi, who's sort of on a bit of a spiritual quest to really figure out who he is. He's something of a pilgrim, and uh, through the course of the show, he's um, both negotiating the things that are happening directly in front of him, and also getting closer to his personal truth. Do you have scenes with Sean Penn? No, I, oh, you I, did. I, I you did, did have one. Yeah. We, we've known Sean for a little bit through Kick as well. Um, but Sean's a champion and, like, he's phenomenal talent. He's got a great eye and he's been kind of really instrumental in the post. Having somebody of that calibre overseeing things alongside Kick, it's just, you just go like, well, if he likes it. First off, just can you tell us about your character? Yes, my character is Josie Justice. She is a badass journalist. She came out really strong and then she um, she had a little faux pas on national television that she's trying to re- rebuild her career and um, reinvent herself as a public figure. And the show is really like a social commentary on, you know, fame and clickbait culture. Why do you think that, like, comedy and satire is a great way to kind of show those themes? <laughs> A, it's fun. <laughs> B, I mean, what better way to get their attention than to create a show that's clickbait. There's nothing preachy about it. The boys make total fools of themselves through doing this, you know. It's literally bodies on the line. Yeah, I think it's the right show at the right time. I think it, it dances with the line, it tangos with the line, but in a delicious kind of way. And, you know, it might, there might be some shock factors, but great, you're having an experience, you're being entertained, and that's the point of what we do. You know, not to... Not to step on eggshells in every show. You're like, oh, I don't know, is this going to shock people? Shock him. Have yeah. fun. You know? And lastly, any like fun, memorable moments on set that you can tell us about? Oh, my gosh. I've got like a hundred. <laughs> they just like popped into my head. There's an amazing moment with Matthew Fox and I. There's this, we get up in a helicopter and the helicopter lands and we get out of the helicopter and it's this slow-mo shot. And I watched it on the monitor afterwards. I was like, I don't think I've ever looked so cool in my entire life. There's another time where I'm... Um, face on the character is like singing um, karaoke to my character and you know Joe's is getting a bit lost in it and then they call Cart and we just break out he breaks out into Spice Girls turns oh, wow. out he knows him and I know every single word and we were just looking at each other going like oh my gosh you know and then the rap starts and we're both doing the rap looking at each other going like what you know so Amazing. we were like Spice Sisters forever